exercise 5.1 ninth question figure i have already drawn for you first question is angle one adjacent to angle two let's see what was the condition of adjacent angle they should have a common vertex they should have a common arm and the non common arm must be on the other sides of the common arm so yes they are having common vertex o i am talking about angle one and angle two they are having common arm and the non common arms are on the other side it is putting all conditions that is why the answer is yes they are adjacent angles second part is aoc aoc means this again angle 1 aoc is adjacent to aoe do you think do you think he is talking about is aoc this angle and is talking about aoe not possible because aoc is itself the part of aoe so how it will be the adjacent angles no why though they have common vertex yeah but they do not have common arm because aoc and aoe they don't have any common arm that is why they are not adjacent angles so what is the answer angle aoc and aoe are not adjacent why because they do not have because they do not have common arm clear that is why even if one condition is not fulfilled you will not commit on that they are adjacent clear do C O E okay C O E we have C O E is talking about angle two. Do C O E and E O D C O E and E O D this complete angle is talking about form a linear pair. Are they forming linear pair? If we see clearly on line C O D we have two angles. This angle and this angle. If you see the picture, it looks like this. If I draw the little of this, it looks like this. He's talking about this. So don't they form their linear pair? Yes, they form a linear pair because the sum of these two angles is 180. Why it is 180? Because they lie on a straight line. This is straight line. So how will you say? Since CD is a line and COE and EOD are adjacent angles therefore can i say COE plus EOD is equal to 180 linear pair So yes, they are linear pair because straight line. Clear? Fourth part. R B O D. He is talking about B O D now. Let's see B O D. Yes, B O D. He is talking about B O D. And D O A. D O A is talking about D O A. Supplementary. Supplementary means 180. Is it so? Yes. If you see clearly, again. you can say ab is a line again and bod and aod are adjacent angles therefore they form linear pair why because their sum because angle aod plus bod is 180 degree because of you hence they are supplementary hence they are supplementary supplementary if you remember supplementary angle whose sum is 180 yes they are supplementary because they are linear pairs fifth part is angle 1 vertically opposite to angle 4 angle 1 Opposite to angle four. Yes, if you see clearly, these two lines are intersecting and these angles are vertically opposite. Angle one and angle four are vertically opposite angles. Yeah, clearly. Sixth one. What is the vertically opposite angle 
of phi angle phi what is the vertically opposite angle of phi we need to see this very important there's a bit hotch hotch in this i'll try to remove that part for your better understanding let me draw it again i'll draw it very quickly this is c this is a this is e this is b and this is e right i think this is what the figure is yeah this is o this is angle 1 this is angle 2 this is angle 3 this is angle 4 this is angle y so what is the vertically opposite angle of phi you have to find who will tell me the answer of this that what is the vertically just see the figure, uh, figure carefully and just let me know What is the vertically opposite angle for angle five? Who will tell me? This is complete angle five. This is complete angle five. So if these two lines are intersecting, if this were the vertically opposite angle, then definitely this complete angle will be opposite to angle five. So what is the angle? So C O B is vertically opposite to C O B is vertically opposite to. Opposite angle two, angle five. Any doubt? Clear? Adjacent clear? Linear pair clear? And vertically opposite angles clear? Anyone with a doubt in this? Clear now? Okay, let's have question number eleventh now. We'll have question number eleven. Very easy question. In the following figure is angle one adjacent to angle two. Let's have the figure first. It looks like Z, the letter Z, angle one, angle two. The question is: Is angle one adjacent to angle two? Give reasons. See, for what? Let me name it. It's O. It's O. It's B. It's C. You can clearly see from the figure itself only. They are not even adjacent. Leave it. Anything. Why? Because they do not have common arm. If I talk about these two angles, they do not have common arm. If I talk about angle, angle one means A O B, and angle two means O B C. Yeah. Yes or no? So, do you think they are having anything common? Even they do not have common vertex, and they do not have common arm. See, this arm I'm talking about. This they have common arm B O B O B is a common arm, no doubt. But they don't have common vertex. But they don't. But they don't have common vertex. Hence. They are not adjacent angles. The reason is OB common arm is there, but they don't have common vertex. Hence, they are not adjacent to each other. Clear with this? If I talk about common vertex will not be there. The common non-common arms you can't even talk about. This too, no problem. But what about the common vertex? Where is common vertex in this? Condition is very first condition was common vertex only. Clear? Any doubt? Anyone is having? Okay, twelfth question. Twelfth question. We'll have the twelfth question. B part. Here a line is given. Again, a line is intersecting here. A line passes through it. This angle is forty degree. This complete angle is x. This angle is 25. This angle is y. This angle is z. Question is find the values of angle x, y, z in the following figure. We have to find the values of x, y, z in the following figure. Let's see. Now, if I talk about first of all, can I say 40 degree plus x plus 25? This is 25. This is angle I'm talking about. Is equal to 180 degree linear pair, or I can say even if you don't want to say linear pair, 
You can say it's a straight line, 180. Yes or no? Yes or no? We can say it clearly. Because it's a straight line, the sum of these two angles is 180. Three angles. Are we clear? Now, you want to say linear pair or you can say straight line. Both are correct. Yeah? But in adjacent angle, if I talk about this two adjacent angles, then don't take adjacent angles for time being. B part. Let us start. We have to find the values of find the values of x, y, and z in this. We have to find the value of this variables, right? See the first thing. Can I say 40 degree plus x plus 25 is equal to 180 because straight line angle made by straight line. So 40 degree plus x degree plus 25 degree is equal to 180 straight line. We can't say linear pair because in linear pair adjacent angles if they form 180 is called linear pair. So this could be the adjacent to each other but this could be adjacent to each other but all together these three angles are not adjacent. So that is my straight line. Now we'll say straight line not lines straight line. Now x degree is equal to 65 180 degree x is equal to here plus there minus from the linear equation transposition therefore it is x is equal to 115 degrees any doubt anyone is having in this now can I say if this two lines are intersecting can I say z is equal to 40 degree vertically opposite angle can I say that that this 40 and this z are vertically opposite angles because these two lines are intersecting. These two lines are intersecting, so these two angles are vertically opposite angles. So from z is equal to 40 degree, why? It is vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Any doubt? Vertically opposite angles. Clear? Now we have to find what is the value of y? Y value must be equal to this. If this two are vertically opposite angles, so this two must be the vertically opposite angles. Yes or no? So what will be the value of y? Y is equal to x degree plus 25. Y again vertically opposite angles. Yes or no? Now what is the value of x? x is 115 and what is already 25 so what is the answer y degree is equal to 140 degree and you can see clearly if y is 140 and this is 40 degree it's a straight line what is the angle made automatically 180 it means this is also correct this is also correct this is also correct are we clear any doubt with this question yeah, so this is how we, you can do in geometry, say guys, in geometry, there are many methods to solve. I am just giving you the hint how to do it. You, if you have any other thing, if you want to take, no sir, I will be solving this, then I will be proving this equal to, or I will be taking this as a line, then I will find the way. You can do it anyway. But the method should be easy. Don't make it complicated. That is very important. Clear? Now, just have examples of complement and supplement angles. How to find the complement of an angle and supplement of an angle? Complement of an angle. For example, if somebody asks me, what is the complement of 40 degrees? So what I'll do? Let the complement of 40 degree be x degree. Now, according to the definition of complementary angle, the sum of two angles must be 90 degree, the definition, here plus there, minus. So what is the answer? 50 degree. So 50 degree is the complement of 40 degree. If from the same question, if I ask you what is the supplement of 40 degree, what will you do? Let the supplement be x degree according to the question x degree plus 
plus 40 degree is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because supplement, supplementary angle 180. Here plus, there minus. So x degree is equal to 140. So what is the supplement of 40 degree? 140. What is the